can't wait to get onto the floating stadium. The sun. The sun. The all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Yeah. Huh. The floating stadium isn't that cool. This wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that Lequido plays here, would it? No. Dude is a total kook, though. Is Cut that out, Seriously, man. Dude. You two are way too competitive, man. Your captain's right, North Shaw. Don't let your rivalry get in the way of your responsibility to the team. Um, where is the floating stadium? Coming right up. How you doing, bro? Ha <clears throat> <sighs> ha! <sighs> even slower than you are on the pitch. And your jokes are even worse than your surfing. All right, everybody. Ready for a tour of the facility? The floating stadium has gone through some major advancements since your last visit. The goal is to be able to stay underwater for months at a time. Oxygen is extracted from seawater. Nutrients from seaweed provide our food. Mm. The moon pool is how we access the ocean when the stadium is submerged. Whoa! What are those? Aquatic propulsion devices. We use them for underwater maintenance. Us pros call them APDs, so you can stick to the full name. And here is one of our newest ideas. This ball converts energy from movement into electricity. Perhaps one day, we'll be able to power the whole stadium with the football plane in sight. And finally, the control room. This is where we oversee all the stadium's operations, including sinking and floating. Pity there isn't a button to make you a better player. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right! North Shaw! What did I tell you about your rivalry with... Coach de Aqua. Category 5 storm approaching. Ah, what a perfect way to end our tour. You're about to experience one of the greatest marvels in the world. Ursula? fastest team in the Super League. They use their pace to slice through opposition defenses. Leave the slightest gap, and they will exploit it. Defenders, stay in formation at all times. Only commit to the tackle as a last resort. Don't worry, coach. I'm gonna own that kook, Liquido. <sighs> this is not about your rivalry with Liquido. It's about playing as a defensive unit. Shakes, Tiger, give the defenders everything you've got. Guys? Is looking tight, but 
I know how to take them down. Seaweed nutrition extract. Enjoy the food of the future! <laughs> Where's the yum, yum seafood buffet? Yeah, stop serving it. Fish burps don't go down well in an airtight environment. Forget about the seafood, Big Bo. I have something much more delicious. Ocean bounties. Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on this delicious cereal. Look out for him in the darkest depths. The secret ingredient is deliciousness. <laughs> the secret ingredient is sugar. <sighs> North Shaw. Liquido. Pity we're stuck down here, bro. Otherwise, I could have given you some surf lessons. Bait me all you want, Liquido. It ain't gonna work. If you want to fish, there are plenty of them out there. Talking about out there, I've been trying a new extreme sport. APD racing. Whoosh, boom, boom. <laughs> Pretty intense stuff. <laughs> Might be too extreme for you, though. <laughs> huh. I knew you were up for an extreme challenge. Around the stadium and back underneath. You ready? Let's do this. Three, two, ah, Laquito! There's no such thing as Tentacle Tim. There's no such thing as... gonna be so angry when he finds out what you did. Face it, dude. We're both in for a world of hurt. Maybe we should keep it on the DL. Yeah, we both keep our traps shut, 
And this may work out all right. Whoa, did you guys did feel, you feel that? that? Oh, oh, guys, what's that? going on here? Our starboard power core malfunctioned, but I have no idea how. I do. This is obviously the handy work of... <laughs> Seriously, brother, cut down on the sugar. This does mean we don't have enough electricity to get back to the surface. What? What? But don't worry, the stadium can easily sustain us until the power core is repaired. But the game's in a few hours. So, let's play then. But what about the fans? How are they going to watch me score all the goals? That's my job. Des, Football 360 camera crew. Yes! No matter where we play, I'm sure the fans are all behind us. Uh, I think you mean above us. Uh, uh, Match day live from the floating stadium. Well, from uh, above it, actually. Hi, Brenda. Hydra's amazing stadium may be stuck on the ocean floor, but the game will carry on as scheduled. And we're gonna bring you every second of it, thanks to our one-woman camera team. Can the defense hold out better than their teammates? Yes, yes, and yes again! North Block and Eagle Eye know how to hold their ground, even though they're underwater. Yeah, their defense is too gnarly, dudes! Totally closing us out! Huh. Don't worry. I know just how to lure North Shaw out. <laughs> Come on, North. What are you waiting for? Hold your position. Come at me, bro. Hold! What's wrong, you kook? Scared you're gonna lose to me? Just like you did in the race. If I were a coach, I'd consider subbing North. Uh, looks like he's taking off the whole team. And I think I know why. The floating stadium's been breached. What? Wow. I can't believe it. This is terrible. Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on. Guido, this is totally our fault. We gotta do something. Nothing to be done, bro. Come on, this is your home ground. I'd never abandon Striker Land. Besides, I thought you were up for an extreme challenge. Ah. This way! Oh no! One of the APDs is missing! Tentacle Tim! <laughs> Take it all, you monster! Uh, how much of that stuff have you eaten? Uh, ten or twenty? Boxes? Come on! Dude, you, my friend, have a serious case of the sugar crazies. Well, if Tentacle Tim didn't do all this, then, then who did? Us. Uh, what? We were racing the APDs. And crashed into the stadium. Uh. But don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You guys head back to the surface. We're gonna fix this. And how do you plan to do that with no electricity? 
Oh, we've got one of the biggest power sources in the universe. Our rivalry. The more we kick the ball, the more power we create. Man, it's gonna take some crazy all-action footy. Well, it's worth a shot. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of shots. in teamwork. Uh -oh. ah, yes, it does. We've just received some phenomenal information. Super League teams usually play to raise the roof, but today they're playing to raise the whole stadium. And it looks like even the fans have put aside their rivalries. Don't blame them. Today either both teams win or both teams lose. Powerball online. Ever. I don't know what to say. for one, have had enough of the ocean. <laughs> Tell me about it. I can't believe I got so obsessed with... Ah, tentacle Tim! You were right, Klaus. This stuff is way better than a seafood buffet. Of the cereal box. <laughs> <laughs> North Shore. Liquido. You guys made a serious mess. And 
You did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. <laughs> no, we did it, bro. Yeah, we make a pretty awesome team. So, uh, anyone know the final score? We totally won. Oh, please. The game was all ours. You play like a wet cat. Please. Huh. It's good while it lasts. Give this game kind Tell of that. Of that. Oh, trophy so strike the land. <laughs> The cool sights. The amazing weather. And best of all, the samba. One, two, four, five, one, two, seven, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Uh, then today's your lucky day, my friend. I know the best samba teacher in all Rio. Samba humbug. Do I look like I need lessons? Ha, huh. keep an open mind, El Matador. You never know what you might learn. You guys forgot about Rio's main attraction, your game against Palmentieri. They're on top form, and we need to be prepared. So then, why are we at the beach? <laughs> For some serious, serious, serious training. Ah, oh, man. Another perfect day in paradise. Listen up, boys. Palmentieri attack in numbers, making them very dangerous, but vulnerable to quick counters. Ah, and training on the sand will improve our pace. Exactly. The game plan is simple. Defend deep, dispossess, and get the ball wide to Tiger. He'll use the twisting tornado to catch Palma off guard. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, is that meant to be Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> You want art lessons? I know the best teacher in all Rio. <laughs> oh, oh. All yours, Tiger. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Tiger, you can play against Palma, but put too much pressure on your knee and you could be out for months. I'm sorry, Tiger. We can't take any chances. And that means... No, no, no. Twisting. 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 Tornado. Tornado. You need some moody violin music? I know the best music teacher in all Rio. Sorry, man. Not interested. What is that? That, my friend, is Capoeira, the Brazilian martial art. And let me guess. You know the best teacher in all Rio? He trains on Hosinia Hill. Hmm, maybe I can still be Twisting Tiger. Listen up, boys. Yeah, yeah, more serious, serious training. Actually, I'm giving you the day off. Huh? Who are you? You guys rocked training yesterday, so I booked us all... Yes! ...on a day-long... Yes! ...sightseeing bus tour! Yeah! Oh, no! Welcome to the Rio de Janeiro bus tour. Uh, 
prepare yourself for hours and hours of non-stop interesting facts. <sighs> Unfortunately, the aircon is broken. <sighs> but if you look under your seats, you will find a complimentary bag of extra salty peanuts. Gee, thanks. This road built Ugh. at the turn Even of Even serious, century. serious, serious That's training is better than this. What's up, dude? I think I found a new way to do the twisting tornado. A way that won't hurt my knee. But I'm stuck here. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. We can handle Palma. This isn't about the game shakes. I'm Twisting Tiger. Without the Twisting Tornado, I'm... I'm no one. Nice work, guys. Perform like that tonight, and Super Strikers are in big trouble. Especially now the Twisting Tiger is out. Donaldo, don't be overconfident. Super Strikers still have plenty of match winners in their side. And Coach has a backup plan. I think it's time we did some header training. And if you look out the window to your left, see the magnificent Sugarloaf Mountain. Cool! And do we get to go up there? Not part of the tour. And also on the left, you will see the area of Lapa, famous for its big parties. <gasps> also not oh. part of the tour. And coming up on the right is the famous Hosinha Favela. Senior Hill, this is it. This is where I can learn capoeira. You gotta help me get off this bus, Shakes. Ugh, okay, fine. Staples, greaseproof paper. Hold on, everybody. I think it's time I say what everyone is thinking. This bus tour is amazing. We should do this in every city we play in. Hey, you guys leave Shakes alone. He's right. This tour is very informative. this master <laughs> it's you wait a second are you also the art music and samba teacher rhythm vision expression capoeira incorporates all of these things besides guys gotta make a living right the first step to mastering capoeira is the jinga Are you sure this isn't part of your samba class? The jinga is the basis of all capoeira. It lets you switch from defense to attack in an instant. The trick is to wait for your opponent to make the first move. Then, when his defenses are down... Huh? Counter-attack! The botanical garden is the perfect place to spend a hot, hot, hot day like today. But, but it's not part of the tour. tour. Please stop. You're ruining Rio! Next up on the tour... Oh, we gotta get out of here. Well, now's our chance. 
Come on, guys. It'd be disrespectful to coach if we just left. And that concludes the first half of the tour. For the next four hours, we will go. We on got a to get off this bus. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Good job, my friend. Keep it up. So, when can you teach me the handstand spin? <laughs> oh, there, Tiger. What's the hurry, man? Nothing, I suppose. It's not like I'm playing. But I should go watch the game. Support the guys, you know? Don't worry, my friend. I've got the best seats in all of Rio. <laughs> nice! Huh? What? They're preparing to face Lanky? They know our strategy! Zhao, you have to teach me that move! Now! Rio de Janeiro, a land of surf, soccer, and samba. Huh? Truly, what? truly, a place hmm? defined by outdoor living. And on your right, you'll see the famous Copacabana Beach. I don't believe it! Second, yourself on the beautiful white sands with the wind and the ocean. All right, you watching? Now, you try it. A for effort, my friend. But I think you need a little more training. Hey, what's this got to do with capoeira training? Nothing, but thanks for the help. I'm really sorry, coach, but that tour was just so boring. I know. And I was on it for another three hours. There's one other thing, coach. We don't know where Tiger is. Don't worry about Tiger for now. We've got the game plan. We've got the players. Now, let's get the result. Tiger! Remember, my friend, for the spin to work, you must use the Jinga. Thanks, but I've got what I need. At least do one thing for me. Yeah? Take a flyer for your friends. Welcome to Palmentieri versus Super Strikers, live from Ramba Stadium. The Brazilian maestros have a full strength side. But Super Strikers are missing Twisting Tiger. Huh? And with their on-form player out of action, do Super Strikers have a plan B? Yep, get the ball up to the tall man. Huh? Oh! Unfortunately for Coach, Edwin saw that strategy coming a mile off. Magnificent goal from the Samba boys. 
No twisting tiger. Long ball shut down. Super Strikers fans must be hoping they have a plan C. Actually, I think plan A just arrived. All right! Woohoo! <clears throat> what can I say? Rio, amazing city. Where have you been? Just because you aren't on the pitch doesn't mean your teammates don't need your support. I can give them more than support. I can win this game. You mean? The Twisting Tornado is back in action. And Super Strikers make their first substitution. Twisting Tiger on for length. Hey, wait a second. If Tiger is plan A and he's coming on after plan B, then plan B is plan A and plan A is... Someone get me a pen and paper! Ugh. Twisting Tiger is on the ball. Can he make an impact? Well, you don't get much more impactful than that. He's turned his signature move upside down. <laughs> Must still be in the testing phase, Brenda. Where's the pace, Tiger? We need fast counters. Um, what's up with Twisting Tiger? He needs to use the Jinga. The what? Funny you should ask. The whistle's gone. Yeah, not even half time could wait for Tiger to finish that move. So, to sum up the first 45, Super Strike has tried plan A, plan B, plan A plus B, but seeing that plan A was plan B and A plus A is 2A, then they had two of the same plan? Ugh, I need more paper. Selfish play, not following instructions, this isn't like you, Twisting Tiger. I have my signature move back. I'm more me than I've been for days. You ain't defined by one move, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, then why is my name Twisting Tiger? Hey, uh, Tiger, uh, some guy once gave me a very good piece of advice. Always keep an open mind. You never know what you might learn. <sighs> you guys are right. Of course you are. I guess I was in such a hurry to find my identity. I lost it. And you aren't the only ones I should have listened to. The second half is underway. And surprise, surprise, Paul Mentieri are on the attack. Aye, but the question on everyone's mind is, because plan B was plan A, plan C then is actually plan B. So do Super Strikers have a plan C, which very well might be plan B? It's a question I'm very sure no one but you is asking. Don Aldo on the ball. The Tiger is waiting for him. Wait for your opponent to make the first move. And when his defenses are down, Attack. First, the upside down tornado. Now, the twisting tackle. What's next? The two in one special. Spinning from defense to attack in an instant. He's turning Palma's world upside down. Of course, 
Yes, you can have my autograph. It's 024555. This is the life. Sure beats a guided tour. Right, Coach Man? Ha! Couldn't agree more. An upside-down twisting tornado? How on earth did you come up with that? A capoeira master taught me the technique. What? That spin was next level. I know, right? I'd do like anything to learn from that master. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, From the, the Super League Disciplinary Board. How can I help you, gentlemen? I have a game to prepare for. Sorry, Coach, but you won't be making the game. Oh, really? And why's that? Your coaching license has expired. Can I deal with this later? I've got to prepare my boys for the... Super League Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not instruct their teams in any way. Now, if you'll come with us, sir. Hmm. Coach secured. On our way to headquarters. Coachman, where you at? Super League headquarters. My coaching license has expired. What? I have to redo the Super League coaching test before I can come to the game. <laughs> They're making you renew your license? I thought Coach was born with one. Yeah, I mean, even the other coaches call you Coach. Uh... And the game plan for Iron Tank? Yeah. 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 Kind of need that, coach. <sighs> I'm not allowed to give you any advice. But what I can say is, this is all just a flash in the pan. Don't let it drive you crazy. You're in good form. Sorry I'm beating around the bush. I gotta go. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. But the game is starting in... <gasps> Welcome to Super League Headquarters. Maybe it's just as well Coach is banned. Because that was the worst motivational speech I've ever heard! Made no sense at all! Hmm, maybe it wasn't meant to. So what? It was like a code or something? Flash in pan. Drive you crazy. In good form. Beat around bush. Flash. Drive. In bush. All right, applicants. Please state your name and motivation for taking the coaching test. Hi, I'm Helena. And I want to become the greatest Super League coach ever. And crush all who stand in my way! <laughs> mm hmm Next! Uh, hello there. I am Norman. Or Norm. Or whatever you want. <laughs> <clears throat> I am here because of my aptitude for tactical innovation. And finally... Sir? Hello? I'm Coach. <gasps> and I'm here because I have a game to win. Anyone have any luck? Hmm. 
nice. Coach has come up with three ways to get past Iron Tank's defense. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Coach. Hmm. But we need someone with natural coaching skills to interpret these tactics. Move aside. <laughs> Follow these squiggly lines and watch out for the big X's. They look dangerous. Ah! Seriously, oh, dude. Helpful, El Matador. Guys, El Matador isn't wrong. Those X's are the most dangerous thing in the Super League right now. Colonel Von Push-Up's troops have been blunting the league's best attacks with their new defensive formation. It's gonna take a stroke of genius from Coach to win this one. But the first thing he needs to do is actually show up for the game. What could possibly be more important than this? Today, we will be testing if you have what it takes to be a Super League coach. And the fact that I've won the trophy three times doesn't count? The rules are the rules. I must say, coach, I'm surprised you let your license expire. As far as I know, I didn't. Stop right there, sir. You do know my team is playing right now. How am I supposed to follow the game? I sympathize, Coach. Really, I do. But... <sighs> the rules are the rules. Super Strike is on the attack. But they have to find a way through the ultimate defensive formation. Two lines of giant mountain men. The Iron Curtain. Strategy one. We play a one two around the Iron Curtain. from Super Strikers. But not sharp enough to cut through the curtain. Colonel Von Push-Up wins the first round of the tactical battle. Not too hard when your opposite number doesn't show up. Making the right tactical choices at the right time wins matches. In your first test, you must adjust the formation of your team to outmatch computer-generated scenarios. These will be a challenge even for you, Coach. Done. <laughs> huh? Excellent work. Now, let's try a slightly more difficult scenario, shall we? Oh, right again. How about... <laughs> Got anything else? He's gone through all of them. What's next? I feel like just being around him has made me a better coach. Do you think you'll sign my face? Super Strike is on the attack again. Can they do better this time? Strategy two. We chipped a ball over the Iron Curtain. Again, this looks promising for Super Strikers. <laughs> ah! But once again, the Iron Curtain closes in their faces. Looks like Coach got some intel to his team. He didn't prepare for this. Don't worry. Without him here to call the shots, it's curtains for Super Strikers. The second test puts you up against one of the most cunning and devious forces in football, the press. 
Somehow it did it. One moment, please. I've forgotten my new password. Have you tried one, two, three, four? Or password. I always use password. You did switch it off and on again. Hmm. Not the kind of security protocol you'd expect at Super League headquarters. Yeah, something is up. What do you mean? To make it as a coach, you need three things. Motivation, tactics, and gut instinct. And my gut feels worse than when I ate that egg sandwich I found on the striker bus. <laughs> it was a tactical risk. Now listen up. I've got very little time to work out what's going on here. I could really use a couple of assistant coaches. <gasps> okay, sorted. Who's first? Norman. Question one. You're about to face Invincible United. How do you plan to deal with Skara? I have a, um, couple of ideas. I would use deep-lying center halves to stop Scar from getting in the space behind the defensive lines. Then, my inverted wingbacks would cut out danger from the wide areas. When Scar is forward, the wingbacks are back. When Scar is back, the wingbacks are forward. Understand? Great. Now, uh, stage two is where things get a little more complicated. So, you want to tell me what's going on? I don't think my license expired by chance, but I need proof. You're in good form? I'm beating around the bush? It just doesn't make sense. Stop obsessing about it. It isn't your job, Agent One. And where are we gonna find this proof? Security footage. Tells me that the test doesn't entirely prepare one for being a coach. You have no idea. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We need to find an access card. Not necessarily. Sometimes, force is the best way to get through a strong defense. All right, let's start with last night. Uh, are you watching all those screens at the same time? Huh, when you have to analyze five hours of game highlights a day, you get used to it. Malfunction? Or someone trying to cover their tracks. Well, I and Tank seem very happy to hold out for the draw. And Super Strikers are desperate to claim a precious home win. Strategy tree. Make dummy runs to open some space in the middle. I'll handle the rest. Super Psychers make attacking runs. But Dancing Rasta can't find the pass. Oh, but it's all a setup. And Iron Tank fell for it. <laughs> Close, but Iron Tank's defense is impenetrable. Now more than ever, Super Strikers need their coach. Ugh. Do you guys remember what we talked about in the first half of the practice? Apparently not, because that was garbage. How'd it go? I think I got my point across. <laughs> Time speech is one of a coach's most important jobs and your final test. It's funny, you know. I have a speech plan, but it's not for you. 
It's for my team, out there, fighting and struggling without me. And the worst part? I've been set up. The hole in the window, new passwords, missing security footage, you've had a break-in. And my license just happens to expire the day we take on Iron Tank? Read between the lines, people! Hmm. Between the lines? I got nothing. Man, this coaching thing is tough. Helena, Norman, unfortunately, you'll have to try again. <laughs> Coach, you did very, very, very well. <gasps> huh? Hey, aren't you gonna savor the moment or something? We've got five minutes until the second half starts. If I don't get a message to my boys, I've failed as a coach. License <gasps> or not. Does that mean you found... A way to tear down the Iron Curtain. You two coming? Don't give up, guys. Coach will pull through for us. I know it. Why are you calling me? It's my... Ah! <sighs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Norman, I want you to sketch out my new game plan. <gasps> it would be an honor. Helena, find us the quickest way back to strike a land. Already have. I gotta warn you guys, I drive like I coach. We're well into the second half. And it looks like Super Strikers are finally out of ideas. This game's got stalemate written all over it. <sighs> Rasta, seems it's been a testing time for you. And your coach. Super Strikers are all out of moves. Attack! Suddenly, Iron Tanks spring to life. Can they deliver a sucker punch in the final minutes? But really, Coach only said like four sentences. How is that beating around the bush? Seems pretty to the point if you ask me. Stop obsessing. You always do this. Hold it, Coach. Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not... Oh. Rule number one. Get out of my way. Iron Tank's attack gathers momentum. Wow. Talk about fashionably late. But can Coach get his players to finish the game in style? Ah, relax. There's no way he could have come up with a new strategy. Not while doing the test. How's it going, boys? Not so great, Coachman. None of our strategies worked. Well, if going around, over, and through the Iron Curtain didn't work, we're gonna play Between the Lines. Strategy four. Sit in the space between the Iron Curtain's two lines, frustrating the tank and forcing them to make a move. Then, we take the gap. Can Super Strikers do what they failed to all game? Finish the move? They've dropped in between the defensive lines. Uber doesn't know whether to hold his position or go forward. Come on, come on! Oh, 
long you have to be a coach for this to stop being so nerve-wracking? Beats me. Enough of this foolishness! But you still have a lot to learn if you want to make it as Super League coaches. Yeah, because going up against coach will be the toughest test of your lives. Welcome to Super League headquarters. Due to a security breach, we've decided to retest all coaches. This is Whoa. ridiculous! Oh, this is Come on! I sympathize. Really, I do. But... The rules are the rules! So, you're in the middle of the ocean. No land in sight. Behind you, Mondo Kahuna. The world's biggest, gnarliest wave. What do you do? Paddle till your arms burn, and then one, two, three, mop up! And then you get some lunch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude! You totally ruined my shot. Huh, for your fake reality survival show? It isn't fake. It's test footage. If I want to get my own series, I gotta show producers I got the chops to pull it off. Speaking of pulling off chops, grub's ready. Oh, yeah! Oh, That's what I'm know. talking about. Hmm. Huge snowstorm heading for the Fortress Stadium. So we're leaving early to do some extreme conditions training. Up against Iron Tank? At the Fortress Stadium. Smack in the middle of the storm of the century. <laughs> what do you do? Tactical Division. Progress report. The drill has half been working double time, Colonel Von Pushup. We expect to find it in a matter of minutes. Ya yeah, nine, you have been drilling for over three weeks. Why do you expect to find it now? Captain Uber, sir. I use statistical probability to determine that the longer we look for the artifact, the more likely it is we will find it. Hmm. Alps, we're gonna need some serious survival skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how will we ever survive these only partially reclining seats? Huh? I am tank? What are they doing down there? Salutations, team! Hey, Prof. Hey, prof. Hi, Prof. According to my, um, calculations, a nearby cyclonic snowstorm enhanced by catabatic mountain winds means that in 48 hours, the weather will be inclement. Okay, that's fine, because we're in the Alps. <sighs> I mean, the climate will be intemperate, El Matador. No, 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 no. We're in the Alps. The weather's going to be bad. What? I was just trying to help. As Northshaw said, Playing Iron Tank during a megastorm is going to take some serious survival skills. And I know just the place we'll learn them. Day two. We're rendezvousing with the Coachmeister. The best place to find the conditions we can expect at the fortress? Up. This is cool. <laughs> 
And I don't mean cool, cool. I mean cold, cool. <sighs> With conditions already this bad, you can only imagine what it's going to be like when that storm hits the Alps this weekend. <laughs> huh? Shakes? Shakes? What are you doing, dude? Survival 101, bro. Always stick together. Look! Fine, fine, I'm coming. Finally. Huh? What took you so long? It's greater than I could have even imagined. This is discovery. We will become the ultimate winter footballers. Blagoglar! Gnarly, dude. Yeah. Toasty. Yes, that's more like it. Prof's new thermal kit should keep you comfortable in the cold. Now, meet your training opponents. The trees? Iron tank are substantially bigger than us. So our advantage will be speed and agility. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy! I'll just do a classic move like the El Matasmil! <laughs> but the freezing temperature and swirling wind make conditions slippery. So what do you do? You'll be playing with special elongated studs for grip. Hand over the long guys, coach. We'd treat you to what it's going to feel like to lose. That was a rather wooden performance. Guys! It seems I uh, may have gotten my calculation slightly incorrect. Looks like the storm is actually going to set in, well, right now. Ah, uh, this isn't good, dudes. Anyone got any ideas? <clears throat> Say it. Ain't gonna happen, brother. Come on. No ways. You know you wanna. All right, all right, all right. What do you do? We need branches, some pine cones, and a whole lot of determination. The storm has moved in early. Excellent. Some perfect training conditions for the Victor Footballer Program. The information we have gathered from you know what? We'll make this storm seem like a stroll on the beach. But this weather is the first we have seen in decades. Perhaps. But the data I have attained from, mm hmm comes from thousands of years ago. The Ice Age. Come match day, we will freeze Super Strikers out of the game. <laughs> day three. We dug into the snow to create a hidey hole, sheltering us from the elements overnight. With the wind gusting up to 20 knots, wind chill took the temp down to way below freezing. Uh, north? Yes, Cool Joe? Thanks for saving our skin, brother. What do you do is a hit in my books. No sweat, dude. But we've got to make it out of here if that first episode's ever going to get made. Huh. <laughs> Not likely, guys. That storm's still in full. Oh! Shake the blow! Shakes! Whoa! 
Shakes mine. Step aside, gents. You can't be serious, man. Guys, our buddy's down there somewhere. And North is the only one with the skills to go after him. What? He is. Day three and a half, and your teammate has fallen through the ice. All you have is a rope and your wits. What do you do? Ah! Not that. Whoa. Huh? But what do I and Tank want with a frozen caveman? I can't find ah. it. Have you seen it? You won't believe it. Truly incredible. Guess what happened to Thor's great, 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 great grandfather? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Do the face! No! Come on! I don't want to! That's an order! <sighs> <laughs> Gives you meaning to the term dead ringer! <laughs> Attention! <laughs> Enough silliness! The Super Strikers game is in one day only! We are here to. Is that. Hey, Thor, I think your great-great-granddad is trying to tell us something. He's not my granddad, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. Rescue party's here, Shakes, bro. Intruders! Spies! Get them! You're in a cave with a frozen ice man and I and Tank are after you. What do you do? Jump! <laughs> so, any advice on how to outrun these guys? Yeah, Mondo Kahuna. The giant wave. I thought you made that up. Everything on my show is real, Shanks. One. Two, three, pop up! Sign of anyone. Okay, return to cave for the next phase of the winter footballer program. 10 4, Colonel. <laughs> this real enough for you? Wow! Oh, cool! Oh, wow! Is this real? <laughs> Quite remarkable! An impeccably preserved specimen! No, 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 no. This is not a specimen, it's an ice man. So, Prof, can you tell us more about him? He lived in the last ice age. You mean colder than this? I'm considerably cool, Joe. At that time, the whole of the planet was covered in ice. And I and Tank are studying a guy who lived through it. Guys, don't worry about this. We have our winter kit. We have our studs. We're ready for whatever I and Tank or the weather throws at us. Footballers. 
match day at the icy, icy Fortress Stadium. I wouldn't know, Brenda. I don't feel the cold. Iron Tank versus Super Strikers, who has the edge? This game really comes down to which team is better prepared for the conditions. Strikers have come to grips with the conditions much better than the home side has. Outmaneuvering the tank at the fortress. Nice. Shakes, <laughs> huh? over here. El Matador has his eye on gold. The men in red look right at home in these rather unpleasant conditions. Unpleasant? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Brenda. Seems Super Strikers are better prepared than we thought. Special studs. Very clever. I hope your great 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 grandfather delivers. Ha! Of course he will. <laughs> He's not my grandfather, okay? Don't worry. Super Strikers may be faster than us now, but soon the cold will slow them down. We're well into the second half, and the conditions are getting worse by the second. <laughs> yes, a jacket would have been a great idea, Mac. Super Strikers have much less time on the ball. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Encounter, Mac. Mac? Day four, and things have gone seriously south. This is not the ending I had planned for my first episode, Shakes. We were prepared for the cold, but not this. Yeah, dude. This game is slipping away from us. Hmm. Maybe slipping is how we can outrun them. Mondo Kahuna? Mondo Kahuna. Mondo Kanuni Wadi, huh? You guys have been talking to Prof too much. Just get me the ball. I and Tank will be looking to capitalize on their home ground advantage right about now. Super Strikers are in hot water here. And so is Mac. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shakes is having troubles of his own. Let's see if I and Tank can make this 2-1. Fantastic save from Big Bo. And he sent it straight to North Shaw. Told ya. 
I don't feel the cold, Brenda. Ugh. Ha <laughs> 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 nice! 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 Yeah, you nailed it! Yeah, Coach was right. Beat an iron tank did take some major survival skills. Given the um, circumstances, it seems only appropriate to be your overwhelmingly laudatory. Um... See? I'm not the only one who doesn't understand this guy. What I mean is... You guys totally rocked that! Woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> You've uncovered an ice dude, trained in sub-zero temperatures, and beaten Iron Tank at the Fortress Stadium. Now, what do you do? You go back to Sunny Striker Land. Fire up the barbecue. And watch the most awesome survival reality show ever. I'm North Shaw, and this is What Do You Do? <laughs> right on, man. I'm alive. Nice. <laughs> 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 Say goodbye to your great, 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 great grandfather for. Mm, he's not my great grandfather. Which this was a stupid idea anyway. Sure. Guess you can't learn anything about soccer from an ice man after all. It's the Rob Russell Show. They're the architects of action, marshals of amazement, and leaders in their uh, field. I'm talking to two of the Super League's greatest captains ahead of their epic showdown. Please welcome Dancing Rasta from Super Strikers and Vladimir Savage from Grim MC. Nice to be here, Rob. Greetings, loud talk show mortal. So, what is the secret to leading on the pitch? Sorry to disappoint, Rob, but there are no secrets. Know your team, know your game plan, and lead by example. That's it. And how about you, Vlad? Ha <laughs> ha! Victory is a certainty when you can see into the very future. So, uh, can you tell me what I'm having for dinner tonight? Macaroni and cheese. Alone. Grimm's ancient powerful book allows me to see moves before they even happen. Behold! The power of the Tatsunomicon! <laughs> I prefer to save my performance for the match. Welcome to Ferratuvia. Home of Grim FC. <laughs> oh, cheesy! How dare you puny mortals mock the mighty Vladimir Savage! <laughs> Dude! Uh, Shakes. Grim just beat Iron Tank. 4 0. Uh -huh. And Savage set up every goal. <laughs> Dude ain't gonna have such an easy run against us. Yeah. Even if Savage can tell the future, all he's gonna see is dancing Rasta, kicking his butt! <laughs> if we work together and stick to the game plan, we can put the scare into Grimm. All right, guys, bring it in. Group selfie. Beautiful. You do know what group means, right? on model students. Terry likes Jenna, but Jenna is kinda maybe into Bruce. Meanwhile, Maurice and Lawrence have declared their totally kinda maybe eternal love for Monica, leaving her torn and confused. Uh, I'm also confused. About why you'd wanna watch that show. Yeah, seriously, Klaus. Enough with the teen drama. Ha, huh, model students isn't teen drama, Big Bo. It's a classic coming of age story about loving and learning in a college for supermodels. Also, I'm pretty sure Lawrence the sportswear model is based on El Matador. Meh, that guy's got nothing on the original. Turba selfie! Ooh. 
Uber. What happened out there? No matter how strong you are, or sink you are, nothing can match the power of that infernal book. Super Strikers, welcome to the cauldron. I trust our facilities will be more than adequate for your preparation. Yeah, real state-of-the-art stuff. Kitchen. Dining area. Viewing room. And, most importantly, here is your practice pitch. The D field. Uh, Coach Belmont, dude? Don't you think we deserve a little better than the D field? Oh, don't worry. It's one of the best we have. D stands for dungeon. And finally, let me show you your living quarters. Did you know, in 16th century Peratuvia, it was considered fashion to have one's toilet in the bedroom? Listen up, boys. Turns out Grimm's performance on the pitch surpasses their performance off it. And Savage is at the center of everything they do. He orchestrates the play, dominates the midfield, and ensures goals for his teammates. <laughs> Whoa, the way he knew where the ball was going to be. And passed without even looking. Kind of seems like he really can, you know, see the future. Oh, no. Don't worry, Klaus. There ain't nothing supernatural about it. I'm not talking about Savage. Season four of Model Students ended on a cliffhanger. It's a graduation ceremony at Fashion University, and the students have to walk the catwalk to fetch their degrees. But Monica still can't decide if she kind of totally maybe loves Maurice, who may or may not be a vampire, or Lawrence, the sportswear model. Anyway, Maurice is doing his thing on the catwalk when Lawrence pulls a wooden stake out of his ponytail. Ah, <gasps> oh, come on, guys. It's a good show. What? You can never be too cautious. Yeah, I hear you, Coach. But are you sure you want to lock us in here? Whoa, kind of creepy, bro. That's kind of spooky. Savage is an outstanding midfielder, but he definitely can't see the future. When you know how your teammates play, Thinking two or even three moves ahead isn't in the realm of the supernatural. One. Two. How do you see yourself getting past us, Cap? I don't. Three. Sorry, Shakes. Bad pass. Looks like I need to put in more practice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was amazing! Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They yeah. so yeah. got the edge of their beautiful. Yeah. You're all like, yeah. three steps ahead. Yeah, yeah bro. Boom! Back heel. <laughs> Good practice, dudes. Can't wait to take on Grim. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That, Shakes, is because you do not know the painful defeat that awaits you. And let me guess, 
You have foreseen it in the Tectonomical! <laughs> You're confident because you think Dancing Rasta can match me. But I can see five moves into the future with ease. Seems your captain cannot even manage three. Oh, El Matador, I think it is an appropriate time for a shocked selfie. Ah! <laughs> How did Savage know about our training? But that humongo door was deadbolted. No way he could have seen us. It's gotta be some kind of trick, right? But how is this possible? I've searched every model student's forum, read every fan theory, but no one knows anything. <sighs> the only way I could find out what happens is if I could see... The future! The Tactonomicon! Nine! No! Uh-huh! Aha! What are you doing? I'm looking for the Tactonomicon. It must be hidden in a secret chamber. <gasps> Just like Maurice's 300-year-old diary was hidden in his fraternity castle Glitter Vampa Vampa at Fashion University. Jenna Board accidentally selfie. stumbles onto it when looking for Terry, huh? who may be a robot. I mean, no human can hold a pose that long. Hmm? Uh, El Matador? <sighs> It's a good show. Ah! Come on, coach. Two training sessions in one day? Complain to your captain. He requested it. He has something he wants you all to see. But Klaus and El Matador aren't here. <sighs> Anyone know where they went? I got this. Klaus totally kinda maybe wants to find out what happens in a silly teen drama. Meanwhile, El Matador tries to set the world record for the most selfies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hmm? I think I'm finally ahead of the game. Forever and ever. Yeah, it's like the time in model students when Lucy. Silent selfie. I summon the mighty power of the Tactonomicon to peel back the curtains of time and reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! Huh? <clears throat> Please reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! I don't get it. Meh. This is kind of like the time in Model Students when Eric... It isn't a good show, Klaus. That was close. Indeed. Just as well we saw them coming. Imagine the trouble it would have caused us if they'd found the book that really works. <laughs> Ah! 
match night at the Cauldron. Savage terrified Iron Tank with a dominant midfield display, Brenda. But the men in red aren't easily spooked, Mac. It's going to take something magical to win this one. And Grim may have just that. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you buy into that fortune-telling nonsense. Well, sometimes I commentate games so accurately, I wonder if I don't have the gift. <sighs> that is ridiculous. Eh? Who will triumph in the battle of the captains? captains? Stop it! Foresight from the Grim Captain. Oh! He unleashes a monster shot! Close call for Super Strikers. Oh, wow! It looks like Dancing Rasta is giving Savage a taste of his own medicine. So close! Gasly up for Super Strikers. Could it be that Dancing Rasta is also a... A really good player? Two can play this game. The half's almost over and there's still no score. The two captains are matching each other play for play. Drop the act, Savage. I've got you all figured out. Arrogant mortal. Let me show you how real my powers are. Unbelievable! It's like Savage is everywhere at once. What? Oh! <laughs> once again, Vladimir Savage pulls the strings for his team. And if it carries on like this, you don't need to be a fortune teller to know... Super Strikers are in... ...for a hiding. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I convinced you guys I could lead you through this, and I let you down. Knowing the team, the strategy, it counts for nothing against Savage. Maybe he really can tell the future. So what? We don't care if he has eight legs and blows fire out of his nostrils. With you leading us, we can beat anyone, anytime, any place. You're the real deal. You're our captain. Team Huddle Selfie! Uh, don't worry, I'll get everyone in this time. Yo, give me that. No, I need to capture this special moment. And how amazing I look. Uh, what's that? Ah, the greatest player in the Super League. Ugh, no. That teeny, tiny thing in the background. What is that? Uh... And there it is again. Pablo? A drone camera? Savage can't tell the future. He's spying on us. So that's how he knew all that stuff about our training. But how does that explain his foresight on the pitch? Hmm, I think I know. Okay, Savage, here we go. No pass. 75 degrees left. Back here, then left. Triple 30 degrees left. <gasps> Watch out for! You still think you can match me? Huh. I've seen the future, and your whole world is about to come crashing down. What is Shanks oh. doing? Not even I can predict that, Brenda. Ah! <laughs> now, 
It's just you and me. Cancelled. I'll never find out if Monica chose Maurice or Lawrence. Huh. That's one future I'm happy we can't see. Uh-huh. Check it out, guys. Really? Hmm. Thought Grimm would have learned a lesson by now. Let's shoot it down! Wait, 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 wait! It's mine! 360-degree group selfie! Bring it in, guys. Never mind, Grim FC. That's a scary face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He triples. He shoots. He scores. And he's coming to a store near you. It's the official El Matador action figure. Shiny, brushable head. Can't live with auto accessories. And cool catchphrases. I Greatest. Yes, yes, you are. Out next week at Philly with Toy Story. Ugh. This is only going to make El Matador more popular. Yeah, and you know what that means. Yeah. Um. He's going to play even better than he usually does. Last thing we need before the double derby. Well, we might have more fan support if we didn't have to recall all your action figures. The fans are the worst. They smell like old socks. <laughs> <laughs> they said be yourself. Welcome to Iron Tank vs. Super Strikers. And here they come. Unbelievable noise. The fans love it, not the girlfriend. And he loves the attention, Matt. The fans. Who needs the fans? <laughs> We're back in the toy. Boys. We're well into the second half, and scores are still tight. Can the men in red go ahead of their host? Dancing Ross to find shakes. <laughs> This is for you! Center. He passes. Just kidding. He doesn't pass. He shoots and scores all on his own. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> and now with amazing self-ejecting hairdo. This is just the prototype, North. 
The first edition, out next week in all good toy stores, will be the ultimate gift to my fans. It's not a gift if they have to pay for it, El Matador. Meh. Details. Is the guy living the fizzle boom? Block says they gotta sell better than his official cool drink. Fizzle boom? Original Brislovian soda pop? <laughs> yeah. There's no ways my action figures won't sell. Tell him why, little buddy. I love the fans, and the fans love me. Hey, could I see that for a second? Hey. Ah. No touchy. Huh, fine. Maybe I'll just make my own action figure. Yeah, a little more left. That's good. No, right! Yeah, down, 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 up! Okay, down, down, down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is the one. El Matador action figures. Driver, you're good to go. Toy Depot downtown. Toy Depot, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Try to sound like you mean it, Scara. We need all the El Matador action figures. Yeah. Uh, why? It's here! The first edition! Uh, looks the same as the other one. Um, no, Tiger. Uh, this one is 100% fault-free. Perfect in every way. Well, go on, open it! Excuse me? Come, Come on, dude! Come on! You don't open it! This is the first edition! You leave it in the packaging! Forever! Hmm. Uh, nope. Yeah. Future generations of Super Strikers can behold the majesty of the miniature El Matador. Dude, it's a toy. The only thing that matters is how many people want to own one. I'm guessing roughly plus or minus, uh, cabillions. versus Super Strikers double header. Both sets of fans are out in force, but which team will show up on the day? Okay, guys. It's important we don't allow the home crowd to intimidate us. Sure thing, Captain. Captain. We know the game plan. Uh, get the ball to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The close action figure! I made it myself. No kidding. Check out the competition, El Matador. You scared? Terrified. What do you guys think? Um, game time? Uh, yeah, gotta go. Can't keep the fans waiting. <laughs> time to tour with El Matador.
an even more perplexing change of heart for his supporters. Perhaps he can get some commentary from the man himself. Almanador, terrible form. Booing fans? Don't you have anything to say? No, you said it all. Thanks, Lena. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, Miss Wong. I have some breaking news from the world of the toy business. <laughs> <laughs> Was. Was. Adored. So weird. Why would the fans have turned against you? <laughs> kind of grows on you. Huh. What's the point of being a superstar if your fans don't love you? <gasps> hey, look! Your action figures are sold out! Hey. Selling like hotcakes, but they're selling like El Matador action figures. Purple's all the fizzle boom. No, we cannot do a two for one promo with fizzle boom. Sure. The only way you're getting rid of that stuff is if Shakes drinks it all, and that's a distinct possibility. <sighs> hmm? Hmm. So if the fans still love you, what's with the booing? Guess they were booing someone else. Yeah. How can you hate someone when they have? Such an adorable action figure! Enough of the toy business. Let's get back to the business of soccer. having an action figure was meant to make you more popular. Wow, the toy business is tough. Hey, El Matador, wait up, dude. So your action figure comes out and your fans suddenly turn against you? Maybe there's something wrong with it. Huh? This guy is perfect. Like the real El Matador. <laughs> prototype. Hmm. But the prototype is different to the ones the fans have. We need to check those out. Too late, Shakes. They're all gone, sold out, everywhere. That's okay. I know where we can get one. <laughs> Go, El Matador. Not the first edition, Shakes. Not the first edition. Come on, El Matador. This is for your own good. Uh, why are you being so melodramatic, Shakes? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, 
coming out for the first half. And after losing at the Vice last week, this is Super Striker's chance to set the record straight. Invincible United did what? No wonder the fans are hating on the Almeida dude. Sucks. Did you say advertising? Burger Fizzle Boom? Yeah, why not? Finally, an interview with the league's most talked about player. So, it's kinda an interview and it's kinda with El Matador. Hmm. He's cool, he's hot, and he's everything in between. Introducing the class action figure! Oh! Ooh, this has these amazing accessories! Okay, there aren't actually any accessories, but it does have two amazing fans! Introducing El Nacho and Mabu El Matador! Hold it right there. This is getting a little heated. Looks like these guys could use some cooling off. Fizzle boom. Not recommended by dentists anyway. Little buddy. Oh, 
Okay, pack the stuff up. Let's get out of here. Dina! Got time for that interview? <laughs> hey, Klaus. I think it's time you make your first edition. You really think the Klaus action figure is ready for action? Yep. I know some people who are gonna love it. This was such a bad idea. Lamesville Deluxe. I don't get why we changed them. I like the old one. The fans are the worst. They smell like... <laughs> Hey guys, chin up. Look, a package for us. Ooh, ooh, from? Doesn't say. Open it. You lose. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> Why would anyone make such a horrible thing? It. El Matador, dude! We're here for three days! What do you even have in all those bags? Kit bag, casual wear bag, smart wear bag, toiletry bag, hair dryer bag, fan mail bag, and spare bag bag. Wait, wait, wait. You have a bag to keep a spare bag in? Uh, you don't? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Super Strikers. I trust you'll enjoy your stay in our wonderful city. Thanks. I'm sure we will, Ma. Yep. Especially when we kick Cosmos's butt. Yeah. <laughs> you, you said got that it, Ma. Right. <clears throat> and Shakes, where is the rest of your luggage? This is it. <gasps> you don't even have a spare bag bag? Are we in some kind of alternate reality? No, Tiger Man. We're in Las Vegas. Oh, wow! Amazing! How can Brock sleep through this? That dude can sleep anywhere. Well, he better wake up soon, or he's going to miss the greatest city in the world! I can't believe Buddy Watkins has a giant sign of himself. Talk about over the top. Yeah, you guys just don't get this town. Vegas is all about the showmanship. And luxury and five-star cuisine. Apparently, they have the world's most expensive dessert here. The 24 Karat Golden Sunday. Woohoo! Yeah! Amazing! Vegas! Las yeah. Vegas does not have a good effect on him. Bring it on! Good stuff, Klaus. Great composure, Shakes. El Matador, keep it simple. Come on, coach. This is Vegas. We need to put on a show. Just ask them. Okay. Man, Cosmos are pulling out all the stops for the halftime show. Well, if they interrupt our next practice, there will be fireworks. Hmm? I'm calling it for today. We can't train with all these distractions. Especially you, El Matador. Huh? Where is he? 
El Matador, your away form is amazing. Three goals in four games? What's your secret? Well, it's all about doing the right preparation, Lena. I stay in the best accommodation, eat the best food, and train in the best facilities. Then, I score the best goals. That's it! We're getting away from this madness. Will you stop that? How can Coach be so cruel? Denying El Matador life's little luxuries. What you thinking, Mr. Watkins? Well, Ninja, I'm gonna give El Matador exactly what he wants. This has got to be some kind of sick joke. Ah, and this room is the punchline. Oh, not even Block could sleep on this pitiful excuse for a mattress. Chill out, dude. It's just two nights. Yeah, yeah. Hello, reception. Uh, can I please get a 6 a.m. wake-up call? Why don't you set your alarm? Oh, can I at least get some room service? What do you want? A 24 karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles. Golden sundae? I think not. Ah, seriously, what's in this thing? El Matador, pull yourself together. How can I, coach? We're in Vegas, and you're subjecting us to bad food, bad training facilities, and the worst accommodations in the world. The only bad thing around here is your attitude. Keep it up, and you'll be doing your sulking on the bench. I don't ask these things for myself, coach. I need the best to play my best. I'm doing it for my team. Oh, yeah. You want to eat the world's most expensive dessert for our sake? What a hero. Hey, El Ponytail. El Matador! Yeah, whatever. You got a package. Dear El Matador, this message is for your eyes only. Do you mind? <sighs> I see now that you really do need the best to play your best. So here it is. <gasps> he understands! P.S. Don't tell the others. I don't want them to think I'm playing favorites. No problem, coach. Shakes, where's your roommate? Uh, not actually sure, Coach. Haven't seen him since practice. Hmm. Hello, you've reached El Matador, professional footballer and all-around legend. <sighs> <laughs> Try checking the nearest luxury hotel. Wherever he is, he can stay there. Come on, Coach. El Matador may be a little self-involved. Okay, extremely self-involved, but... There's no way he'd put anything ahead of a game. <sighs> Fine. Go find him. And make it quick. Kickoff is at 3.30. Hey, man. What's the fanciest hotel in Vegas? You're standing in it. Fanciest place in town has got to be... <sighs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Matador. Buckingham Palace Hotel front desk here. This is your 
9 a.m. wake up call. Is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Hmm. I've got the best accommodation and the best training facilities, so all I need is one 24 karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles, please. Excellent choice, sir. It will be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm such a big shot in this town, I can even decide what time it is. <laughs> what? Shakes? Make sure he doesn't find out El Matador's here. Hi. I'm looking for a friend who might be staying here. Uh, his name I'm is... I'm sorry, sir. But here at Buckingham Palace Hotel, our guest's privacy is of the utmost importance to us. Okay. Thanks anyway. Shakes! Shakes! Can I please get your autograph? <laughs> totally. Of course. What's your name? The 24 karat golden sundae. I give you my jersey instead. Throw in your boots and you got a deal. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for football. El Matador, sir, your 24 karat golden sundae with extra gold sprinkles. Just leave it there, thanks. I'm on a roll here. Delicious. Hmm? How did you get over here? Shakespeare, what happened to you? I think I know where El Matador is. Buckingham Palace Hotel. Told ya. And? You know how security is in those places. But I did send a message up to him. Uh, you shouldn't have bothered. The only way he's getting anywhere near a football pitch is if he's mowing the lawn. It's March night in the city of Lowe. Mac, we spoke about the singing. Ah, come on, Brenda. We're in Las Vegas, and I'm gonna commentate my way. Well, we may be in a city known for its big shows, but we've got a no-show in the game. Aye, Lanky is on for the missing El Matador. The Super Strikers number 20 hasn't even made the bench. Very strange. We have a clear pattern in this game. Super Strikers attack and Cosmos defend. It's going to take something special for the men in red to break through. Cosmos, El Matador is going to have the perfect game. Huh? Check the time, you're going to miss the game. Shakes. First half, and it's been one-way traffic. 
Yep, but every attack has hit a dead end. Oh, here's a chance. Perfectly placed shot. But once again, Cosmos escaped unscathed. Come on, come on, come on! Where's my kit bag? <laughs> Stupid private elevator! Why do you hate me? <laughs> Mr. Matador, how can I help you? Huh? Mr. Matador, hello? <gasps> A wake-up call. The elevator! I've been set up! Ugh. Ooh, comfy. But I cannot rest now. My team needs me. Escape plan! <laughs> oh, come on! Stupid extra smooth silk sheets! Huh? Hello, reception. Uh, can you please send up another golden Sunday? We're almost at the end of the first half, and Super Strikers are getting desperate. Yep, they may have had all the possession, but haven't been able to find their way through. <laughs> Ninja gets the clearance, and he doesn't waste any time. The counterattack is on. Done. Stylish goal by the Cosmos star. <laughs> and he knows it. But it's all gone wrong for Super Strikers. Despite controlling the first half, they've missed that little bit of extra magic up front. Mr. Matador, your 24 karat golden Sunday. I'll just leave it here then. Very good, sir. This is not how a football superstar leaves the building. <laughs> Coach, I can explain. The hotel you booked me into, they betrayed me. Locked me in the room. The hotel I booked you into? Are you serious? Look, I know you said in the letter that you didn't want the other guys to know, oh, but... Oh, so now I sent you a letter. Of course! You think I'd make this up? Well, then let's see the proof, brother. It's in one of my other bags. Let me guess. Your imaginary letters bag? Listen, I love the best food, the best hotels, and the best training facilities, but nothing is more important to me than Super Strikers, the best team in the world. All right, guys, bring it in. One, two, three. They're on the bench. You guys gotta believe me. I was set up. Oh, yeah? By who? Please give a warm round of applause for Buddy Watkins' Buckingham Palace Dancers. It's Buddy's Hotel? Maybe you were set up, El Matador. Coach? You gotta let me get back at that guy. Please, put me on. You've had the best food, accommodation, and training facilities. So get out there and put on a show of Vegas proportions. What? How'd he get here? The missing El Matador has returned. But he has his work cut out for him. Cosmos are set up even more defensively than in the first half. Looks like Buddy Watkins is holding out for a 1-0 victory. Any ideas? Get the ball to me in the box. I know how to catch them by surprise.
I did it through. But El Matador still has plenty to do here. And oh my, does he do it? Thanks. A night in the best hotel in town seems to have really helped El Matador's game. For our last night in Vegas, Buddy has kindly offered us five-star accommodation on the house. <laughs> More like on the palace. 24 karat golden sundaes all round. Booyah! Well, you guys deserve it. Even you, El Mad Again? Really? Yeah, where is that deserter? <laughs> he says he's had enough luxury for a while. Um, 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 um. Solo. You know, in a real game, I'm all about the teamwork, El Matador. But here, come on. Shakes, you loser. Shakes, you loser. Wow, this scar is super realistic. Yeah, he really doesn't like shakes. Nice work, Prof Man. This thing's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Dancing Rasta. Ending simulation in three, two, one. Oh, Woo! so cool! Wow! Whoa! Amazing! I think it's safe to say we're prepared for any weather conditions. We might as well have played in the rain, Coach. This helmet ruined my hair. <laughs> Prof, even by your standards, that was just wow. Uh, that's uh just the tip of the virtual iceberg, Shakes. My simulator can load any player in Super League history. So. Who are the best you have in there? Hmm, uh, let me uh, adjust the parameters. Increase the skill limit and... El Lariete, master of the skies. No surprises there. Imagine how epic that guy's heading was when he still had hair. Edwin, king of samba skills. I've never seen anyone move the ball like Edwin did. Spike Dawson, terror to goalkeepers. He was called Awesome Dawson for a reason. And last but not least, our very own tactical genius, Coach. <laughs> but not a style genius. Look at that hair. Hey, afros were really in back then. What do you mean, back then? Don't even think about it, Shakes. I've carefully planned our preparation, and nothing is going to mess with my schedule. I'll see you all tomorrow for some real-world training. Totally rock that! Good practice, guys. Oh, yeah. Listen up, boys. Play like that in two days' time, 
and Invincible United won't stand a chance. But there's one more thing you need to do in preparation for the semi-final. Relax. You have tomorrow off. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> all right! Yeah, man! <laughs> but take it easy. I need you all in tip-top shape. See you, dudes! Auf Wiedersehen! What are you doing, Dingon? This is Steakout. All Steakouts need snacks, Skara. Not two days before the semi-final, you idiot. Yeah? So, what are Super Strikers up to? I don't know, Vince. Practicing? Being dorks? What am I looking for? Anything that will give us the advantage in the semi-final. The match may be two days away, but the competition has already begun. <laughs> Ew! What is that? Four cheesings flavor. <laughs> Real secret to shiny hair? It's horse shampoo. <laughs> Dude, my hair stays exactly like this no matter what I. D uh, you guys smell that? Oh, El Matador, you know you're supposed to change your socks after practice, right? How dare you! I wear socks one time only. Then. I sell them on the internet. Hey, Shakes, you want to jam the new Paddle Power game in my place? State-of-the-art graphics. Nice. But I'm cool, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Skara. <laughs> We've got bigger problems than your disgusting cheese burps. Shakes is up to something. How do you know that, Skara? It'd take something really important to keep that nerd away from a new video game. Hey, my chips! about to take you guys on. Just one game. Coach did say take it easy. All right, legends. Let's see if you live up to your name. Uh, hi. Listen up, boys. Power accuracy. Got this. Is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Well, I hope your football's better than your conversation. Super Strikers, not your dignity. <laughs> Virtual reality training? Oh, wow. Shakes versus a whole team of legends. <laughs> Lucky I brought some snacks. Give me that. Do you have any idea how bad this stuff is for you? The 
Heroes and a boy. Power, accuracy, got This is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. <sighs> Man, Prof wasn't kidding about how good you guys are. But I gotta get back to reality. And mean blog. blog. Huh? Heat stroke is a real danger, El Matador. Uh, coach, I know you don't want anything to happen to us before the game, but isn't this a little overkill? You can never be too careful, Twisting Tiger. Hello? Um, coach, you need to get to my lab right now. <laughs> oh, oh, man, who oh. dealt it? Hey, don't look at me. I'm not even wearing socks. It's the stench. Oh, villainy! Someone sabotaged my machine. And shakes! No. Shakes? Uh -huh. Prof, get him out of there. I can't. The suit has damaged the console. Can't we just, you know, yank him out? No! If we simply pull him out of the simulation, his brain with him, uh, let's just say it's not an option. The only way Shakes is getting out of there is if he wins. There's no way Shakes can beat the legends on his own. Wait, wait! Are you crazy? If you can't win, you'll be stuck in there forever! It's a risk we have to take. Uh, I'm such an idiot! Yep. That's right. Huh? Yeah, man. Totally. I'm wrong. Gotta try to do everything on your own, hey, Shakes? You guys came for me. But doesn't that mean you're stuck in here, too? No one's getting stuck anywhere. Hey, what gives? We just have to beat the legends, and we're all home free. Besides, dude, we're a team. We win together. And we lose together. Yeah, and we get trapped in virtual reality for all eternity together. I can normally handle watching from the sideline, but this, there's got to be something I can do. Well, uh, you can uh, pass me that screwdriver, please. Huh? Accuracy. God, this is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Legends? Meet legends in the making. Whoa. 
Morgul. I'm a legend, but those guys are legends. Why does this simulator hate me? <laughs> They've been in there for ages. Shakes must be really stuck. Skara, did you get any information on Super Strikers? <laughs> I did a lot more than that, Mitz. The semi-final is gonna be way easier than we thought. <clears throat> huh? Uh, I gotta go. Phew, your attitude normally stinks, Skara, but this time, you've really outdone yourself. Yeah, well, you can smell us on the winner's podium. Now, get out of my car. Whatever. Uh, Skara? I think I ate too many chips. Ah! Nobody messes with my team's preparation. No, no! Let me out! Let me out! Help me! Listen up, boys. Power accuracy. Got this. Is survival of the fittest. I will destroy all who stand in my way. Uh, is it just me, or does that get very annoying very quickly? You have no idea. Hmm. You guys may be onto something. These are simulations of players. They may be good, but they can't learn anything new. But we can. Sorry, coach. You taught me better than to fall for the same trick twice. That one I learned from you. And here's one of my own. <laughs> Keep it low! Really hate myself. Not bad, guys. Not bad. A couple more games and we'll have them. Uh, actually, the simulation has become extremely unstable. If you don't win your next game, you're going to be ship deleted. No recovery from recycle bin. Gone. Finished. Obliterated. They, they get the point. Oh, caramba! Oh, what are we gonna do? Player for player, the legends are better than us. Oh, great speech, Captain. Oh! But tell me this. What kit are they wearing? Um, they're all different? That's because they ain't a team. But if we play like one, we can beat them, no matter how good they are individually. We need to finish this now, or it's game over. Oh, 
Come on! Give me a break! Ah! El Matador! To me! <laughs> Here it comes, Jake! <laughs> Just kick it already! Welcome to the Super League Semi-Final, live from strike land Invincible United, I hear. But strangely enough, the home side hasn't arrived yet. Very unlike Coach. He normally runs a tight ship. <laughs> this turned out better than I could have hoped. Well, for the most part, anyway. Uh, Skara? Finally, the men in red arrive. And they are looking confident. Here we go. Local rivals and Super League giants go head to head. Who do you think will win this one, Mac? I don't know, Brenda. But whatever the result, this is going to be a legendary encounter. Satellite dish. This is Global Orbiter, reading you loud and clear. Seven degrees left. No, no. Three degrees right. A little bit left. Now a tiny bit right. That's it! Perfect! Woo! I'll be right in! Game's well underway and scores are tied. But if anyone can break the deadlock, it's Cool Joe! Yep, the King of Spin has been terrorizing Barco with his crosses. And there's the new one! The Corkscrew! crosses into the box. It's the corkscrew! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> Sorry! Ellen, this is a space station, not a football pitch. It's bad enough that you're using state-of-the-art monitoring equipment to watch a Super Strikers game. Ah, oh, come on! I can practically see the broadcast satellite out the window. It'd be a waste not to use it. Asteroid 237 is within range. Let's get to work. Hey, did you guys see this meme? Ages ago, yep. Klaus. Long time ago. What about this fail vid? Check this out. Oh. 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 Totally. I saw that one ages ago. Well. I bet you guys haven't seen this. Uh, hmm. A blurry potato. No, El Matador. It's a massive asteroid called 237, and it's coming right past Earth next week. Well, you guys are going to be too busy looking down at your phones to look up at the asteroid. Seriously, Cool Joe? Why are you so anti-technology? <laughs> Dude takes old school to the next level. Yeah, old university. And what's wrong with that? Besides, I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not that old. Came with a fax machine attachment and everything. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is...
is the 21st century. You should join us here sometime. <laughs> hmm, message from Coach. What's it say? The Orion game's been pushed back two days. Aw, oh, man. That's the same time the asteroid's coming past. <laughs> cool Joe's new phone. Charger sold separately. Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Posting that on Nata immediately. All right, all right. Which one of you guys did this? Shakes, you're being suspiciously quiet. Oh, he's just angry that he's not going to see the giant space potato up close. I really don't get why Coach Black moved the game. He's more into astronomy than anyone. Ah, Super Strikers. Welcome to the Soccer Sphere. Hello, hey, hey, Coach Black. So, Coach Black, why did you move the game to the exact time Asteroid 237 passes? Oh. So great to have another astronomy aficionado in the Super League. Imagine, Shakes, as the astral giant passes overhead, two Super League giants clash on the pitch. A fitting tribute, no? Yeah, I suppose. And what's in there? <laughs> that facility will help us um, understand more about the asteroid. Cool. Can I check it out? I'm sorry, Shakes. Even the slightest interference could affect the readings. No one is allowed in Dome 237. Shakes! Practice! Hey, over here! Coming at you, dudes! Barba, barba. Great stuff, guys! Forward, to me! Coach Black has his side tactically astute, and defensively organized. Breaking them down is going to be tough. But we've got something that no amount of planning can stop. El Matador's brilliant shooting? Oh, of course, my mistake. It's my dribbling. Oh, he's talking about the corkscrew, big head. Pa! Cool Joe's crossing can't win games. You need a brilliant striker to score the goals. Ha! Want to bet? Let's give this a spin. You see El Matador? With the corkscrew, even a dummy can score. <laughs> or one of those guys. Hey! Dude, that was amazing! How do you know exactly where the ball's going to spin? Practice, practice. Uh, and what's that other thing? Oh, yeah. Practice. Till 237 gets here. And let me guess, the Natter satellite's right outside our window? It would be a waste not to use it. There's still a lot of prep to be done. We've got to be ready to analyze the composition, velocity, age, and trajectory of 237, as well as the electromagnetic and gravitational effects it will have as it passes. Because we're less affected by Earth's gravity up here, an object as large as 237 should have some unusual effects on us. All right, guys. Good practice. Ha, yeah. You've earned it. Now, here's a story about a 
the guy I know who still is out of sight. But his funky grooves and his deadly moves give defenders all the fright. So brothers of the huh? Super League, it's more about a shock. When you go Orion hosts Super Strikers. Oh, anyone got reception? Uh, nope. Not me. Job uh, The asteroid might be causing electromagnetic interference. Said so on the Global Orbiter Natter feed. Well, well, well. I have reception. Yeah, that's because your phone is coal powered. <laughs> <laughs> Forget your phone reception. Just make sure your attack is at full strength. Yeah, okay, guys, let's come do on, this. let's do this. And we're off. Neat possession from Super Strikers. Dancing Rasta sends the ball to the left wing, and you know what that means. Aye, the King of Spin is about to lay down a royal decree. <laughs> Warning signs for Orion. Aye, but Coach Black doesn't look very worried. Finds Cool Joe. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, cool Joe did the Orion Defender's job for them. So unlike him to miss the target. Another terrible cross. Even worse! What is wrong with Cool Joe's crossing? Hmm. Hmm? <gasps> hey, Roslyn, do you think the gravitational pull of the asteroid could affect objects on Earth? Hmm. Perhaps, but only on a very small scale like a spinning soccer ball. I need to warn Super Strikers. Uh, for research purposes, of course. It might be a little difficult to get hold of them with 237 interrupting the phone signal. Analog frequencies should be immune to the effects, but I don't think anyone still uses phones that old. You can do this! Cool Joe sends the ball straight to the opposition! And now Ryan can count them! My ball! Oh. Super Strike is a real trouble here! Oh! Huh? North Shaw misjudges the cross! Big Bull goes the wrong way! Woohoo! Yeah! 1-0 to Orion. And it all started with Cool Joe giving the ball away. Yep. In the space of one game, the King of Spin has completely lost his touch. This is rash, irresponsible, and downright dangerous. Come on! There's an old communication satellite right outside. And, and it would be a waste, waste not, not to, to use, use it. it. Do you have any idea how many asteroid fragments are flying around out there? If one of them hits you... I have to warn Super Strikers. really 
don't know what happened out there, Coach. I placed all those crosses perfectly. It didn't look like it. Can you please turn that off? I, I don't know how. Yeah, they hadn't invented the reject call button when that phone was made. Wait, really? Yes, it doesn't have one. <sighs> Fine, answer it. Uh, listen, I can't really talk with... All right, which one of you is behind this? They say they're calling from a space station. Uh, was it me? Oh, me? That's pretty good. If it was me, I totally claim it. Who is this? Cool joke? This is Ellen Thrace from the Global Orbiter. I hate to be pushy, but you need to listen. Now. This connection's dangerously unstable. Asteroid 237 is interfering with... Hello? Global Orbiter. I'm coming in. Like, right now. Do you guys have any idea what that was about? She said the asteroid is interfering with something. Our phones? I'm pretty sure she didn't call us from space to tell us we can't use Natter. Well, what else isn't working? I hate to say it, but Cool Joe's Crossing? Would explain why the ball's spinning all over the place, but can an asteroid do that? Bet we could find out in Coach Black's research facility. Ugh, but it's off limits to everyone. Uh, no it ain't. I saw the whole Orion team come out of that place last night. this got to do with the asteroid? Let's find out. Now it's working? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. When in doubt, push the big button. Gravitational reverse commencing. Black created a way to reverse the spin of the ball? Not created, emulated. Asteroid 237 is messing with your crossing. And Coach Black trained his guys in here so they'd be ready. You think you can adjust? I don't know, brother. I've been practicing the corkscrew so much it's instinct. I can't just switch it on and off. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. Second half is underway. Can Super Strikers find a way back into this game? Keep it on the ground, guys. Short passes. So you think Cool Joe got the message? I really hope so. Then where is... Oh, look! Cool Joe switched sides with Twisting Tiger. Well, he can't do much worse than he did in his normal position. You sure this is gonna work? Not at all.
okay with us watching soccer on the state-of-the-art monitoring equipment? No, this is research into the effects of the asteroid on a soccer game. Uh, hello? Is this thing working? Reading you loud and clear. Wow! I can't believe I'm talking to a super striker! <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to an astronaut! Huh, who knew it would be so easy to get Cool Joe into technology? Yeah, all he needed was the right motivation. Do you guys mind? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Can we get some space, please? <laughs> How much more space do you need?